Hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a 61 degree Thursday, the 15th of August. It's going to be cloudy again today. <laughs> Still, they're saying no chance of rain until Saturday. It's supposed to rain Saturday and then Sunday. It's supposed to be okay. But Kelly says she depends on which weather app you look at. It's saying uh, rain on Saturday and Sunday. But of course, it's get that time of year where it's nice all week or dry all week. And then it'll rain when the weekend hits. But anyway, it's Thursday. Roll, roll on south. And go to the job. Oh, come on along. Sixty-seven degrees with some sunshine out there. Some sunshine. Sun. Very little, but it's there. Yeah, maybe she'll peek out later. Yeah. Let's say that looks like a police car sitting there, and it was. <laughs> Those police officers are so nice. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're funny too. Sweet guys. It looks like both bikes are getting dropped off because they're putting their helmets in. They got a oh. ST1300 and a R12 or 1250. I gotta get a better look at it. So, hey, anyway, Mama. Yes, I have a. It's Thursday. All right. Two more. Two more left. Then the weekend. Can't Take wait. a wet weekend. I know. It's gonna be. But a, a wet weekend day. makes it very relaxing. Now. It does. It's Not good chill. for the vlogs, but very relaxing. Good for our souls. Yeah. Well, Mama, let's bust her out. All right. Have a wonderful Thursday, and I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Huh? All right. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So here's the old pump. It just runs and runs and runs. Let's be stripped or something. It's, just, it's not turning the the uh, compressor. <laughs> it just it doesn't blow anything. But the new one tested it out, and it's just blasting air out. So... Um, yeah, something internally it's making noise like i said it's like the gear that goes from the motor to the pump must be uh stripped you can sneak in and knock this panel down and put the pump in without taking any of that off but the canister was dislodged it was just laying in there so as i'm trying to get the canister to click back in its groove i knocked the panel off the back and i couldn't get it to come back on and get because it hangs here and push a little little teeth so to speak that goes in there then you got push pins and couldn't get it on and i couldn't get this to go back on couldn't figure out why it's just somebody at the factory left it loose or didn't get it all the way on and it fell loose so it is actually easier but ended up having to take it off anyway what a bummer well i can't take this one apart because this is a 24 clearly under warranty but i took that one apart actually tim took it apart that's what all that salt water gets you it eroded and got in there look at all the all the rust and stuff but this is what's interesting it's just on a connecting rod and just go and there's your just there's your cylinder it just runs that little pump. Oh no, kind of a well, I would say bulletproof, but um, evidently salt water eats away at that thing and makes its way inside. And put the kibosh on it. Turn the light on. Put the kibosh on it. Looks like, almost looks like the the salt was bubbling in there at some point. That's wild. So if you're ever wondering what ACS pump looks on the inside, just a bunch of bolts and electric motor, but look at the brushes too. You can see it's tried, but I bet you, I didn't try to get this thing apart, but I bet you connection between the the motor and the pump is, uh, is bad. Cause this one just, you just hear the motor running and it has kind of a grinding sound and it, you don't hear the piston going up and down at all. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So I got everything in all nice and successful like. So I did hook up to it and I did have to relearn the, uh, the sensor. I had nothing to do with the sensor. 
maybe it <laughs> I don't I don't know I know that's one of the things I check you know is that you know is the thing's not working correctly and yeah it was learned and uh and then there's a some other tests you go through and anyway I could tell the the sound of the pump it was just like running all the time and um, the customer had air in it I'm assuming he put the air in it maybe it was working partially every once in a while I have no idea but his complaint was that the pump is running all the time and uh, yeah I, I got that it couldn't achieve the ride height thing and and uh, I said yeah that pump's not working plus it's got that crazy sound to it I mean crazy it is, I don't even know how to describe it kind of cool how the pump looks like on the inside though huh but he'll be a happy camper now. You have your brand new spider. She's supposed to run and handle and do everything like a spider's supposed to do. It's just a faulty part. I don't. Well, it's no no fault of well whoever makes the pump. It's their fault. <laughs> Blame them. That's what BRP will do. They'll they'll probably ask for the part back, and uh, you know they'll pay us for the claim, and then they'll charge the uh, the manufacturer that made the pump for it. That's how it rolls. Somebody's got to pay. The man I had the it was actually Tim's idea, which I already thought about that with the other one, but the other one was unique I mean there's so much mud and grime and oh that, that's just such a mess she's a uh, all she just needs now is a good old good old detail and then she'll be a she'll be a happy spider thank gummit I didn't look to see what was coming before it all right we're good but a uh, Tim goes can't you just drop that plate out of the way? Can't you get to those bolts that, you know, the pinch bolts that hold that, the pump in? I go, yeah, well, I've, you know, probably done hundreds of these things now. Old style, you know, 10 through 19. I go, yeah, that thing doesn't fall out of the way. And, and uh, you know, for the old ones, they paid a half an hour. You were nowhere near getting to that pump in a half an hour. So every time you've seen one of those things, you just kind of bend over, as the old saying goes. And um, I forget what this one is. It's a little bit more. But, so I was telling Tim, I said, no, that doesn't work. The plate doesn't go far enough out of the way. And I'm thinking about the one I just did. This guy's going to think I'm following him or something. Why would you be coming through this neighborhood like this? But, uh, same way I'm going, wait a minute, you know, that thing doesn't hang on the frame like the other one did. When you pulled the push pins out, it would fold out. I said, you know what? I said, here, hang on a second here. We'll, we'll test your theory out there, Tim. So I pulled the pin out of one side, and I, I can already tell it's going to work. But it's weird. I pulled the left side off first, and it hung by itself. I go... I think there's nothing, there's no weight on that thing. So I pulled the other side and, and when it dropped, here comes sliding out the EVAP canister. It clips in into the frame. And uh, yeah, it wasn't in there. It was laying on that tray. So it was great. I got in there, I was able to, to get the pump swapped out. And uh, before I go back together, I need to get that evap thing slipped back into its to its area. Well, I just can't get the thing to go. I just, I'm like fighting it. So finally, I get the thing to slide in. It has those same little weird hooks on the back. If you ever had the old twins, you had to move that out of the way, like doing a valve adjustment and all. The or he's taking that thing off. Well, this is literally the same way, but it's sideways, and you're using the little clips on the edge, not the back. I can't tell that Honda looked like it was rolling pretty good there. <laughs> a lowered minivan. <laughs> Actually looks kind of good. So, uh, 
yeah, as I'm, I finally get the thing in, and you know, and I felt that pan get a whole lot looser. And I go, well, that's that's cool. I now I can get a better grip on it, you know. Well, the hooks and the pins. I think I showed you earlier. There's one hook and these pins. I can't, I can't get in there to get it back on. It's hitting the the whole you know saddlebag trunk holder assembly back there. So, well, at this point, you know, I wasn't far from taking the thing apart. So uh, I pulled the trunk off, got everything all latched together and put back on. And I, so I, uh, it was still sitting on my bench. I fired up and I wanted to hear the pump run. And uh, so I, the, you know, the park brake has got to be running, has to be in first or reverse with the park brake off running, of course. And um, anyway, so I do that and it's, whoa, sounds like a, Sounds like an air compressor, you know. Much quieter than the other motor that wasn't working. And, um, anyways, not going. Yeah, I'm like pointing downhill now. And it's still going, boop, boop. It's still trying to add air to it. Not going, yeah, the this, this setting's not right. So I, uh, so weird, the, the 24s are totally different than. Um, the previous models and the ones even before that was even dif different yet. <laughs> Come on, pay attention to me there. Man, they ride up on me tight. Man, any of you guys watch Ironhead Sally? Any of you guys that are in the retro bikes? That reminds me of that. Uh, oh, what's the name? Lane Split? Lane Split Boulevard, it's all an acronym. Love those guys. Uh, man, they do the EDR run, or, or they did in the past. Um, you know how I was telling you guys, you know, look, make sure you're subscribed, because you get unsubscribed. Yeah, I've been subscribed to them for years now, and uh, I'm going, man, I haven't even heard of them, and all of a sudden one of their videos pop up. And I'm going, oh, I didn't even know that channel even was going anymore. Oh, it's still going. They're almost 200,000 subs. It's a good channel. But uh, anyway, Ironhead Sally. So uh, her and her husband, they, you know, uh, uh, restore or they call it, uh, um, what do they call it? Survivor bikes or whatever. A rescue. They, they find these old iron head, shovel heads and evos and stuff and uh that aren't running and they uh they get them get them all fixed up and running again and and uh they really like the iron head sportsters you know hence her channel iron head sally you know but uh, they're not professionals or anything like that they i mean they know these old bikes like the back of their hand you know they work with them so much and um anyway so, you know, she puts out a video, I mean, bare minimum once a week, but it's usually every couple, three days or so, she'll come out with a video. Well, they were talking about taking a, his 81 and her 85 iron head to go to Sturgis. And, uh, you know, Sturgis comes and goes. I don't hear nothing from her for a while, you know. Well, finally, I, I poked around and found her Instagram and uh, she's got a Facebook page too but the Instagram and then there was a YouTube short um, and uh, yeah I don't know if they were on the way I'm assuming they're probably on their way to Sturgis but yeah she got rear-ended yeah pelvis sternum ribs ankle it, she's got a long recovery ahead but their little YouTube short you know which is you know, like a Facebook Reels or Instagram Reels or whatever. Uh, she was in a wheelchair. She was in good spirits. She always seems to be in good spirits. But if you haven't watched that channel, look up Ironhead Sally. You, you'll be addicted. It's fun. It's just laid back. They kind of think like I do, you know, all the don't mess with all this fancy BS, you know. 
they're very against you know trailering your bike to an event and things like that but um, yeah they're cool they're really down to earth they remind me of a a couple of hippies this is what they remind me of and uh it's just it's very entertaining but anyway if you if you do watch her you know if you, you haven't wondered why if you're wondering why she hasn't had any videos you know, give her some love somewhere to, for a speedy recovery that's a mess the kid a kid rear-ended her she don't know if he's on the phone or whatever but he admitted guilt at the scene and everything else and uh but still that's it's a messed up thing i wish her well <laughs> talking about harleys as we're riding can-ams <laughs> yeah anyway let's roll i can't go out that top side because i've seen they got some kind of like company party or i don't know something going on they had that all coned off I can see all the way up there. I can't see all the way up. Yeah, they got something going on. Some event. But the suspension's doing what she's supposed to. I still don't understand how it it said, you know, high setting, low setting, 0% on both. So you got to make sure, you know, there's a setting you got to, it's weird. It's totally different than the other ones. Got to make sure it's within a certain uh, setting. And you got to learn it. I don't know what this person's doing. Apparently very confused. She's looking for directions or something. Not the confused part that bothers me. We all get confused. It's just the absolute total unawareness of anyone that's around you. It's just, it's all about me thing, you know. <laughs> it's the way the world is, though. Anyway, 2024 Spider RT Limited. Um, new suspension pump. Good deal. All right, thanks for coming along for the rip. Well, hello there, YouTube. I ain't having to come out here early. We're out here an hour and ten minutes before <laughs> sun sunset because it's all cloudy. And going over the rest area hill, it absolutely dumped. It was some crazy storm. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, you we slowed down to like 40 miles an hour. Windshield wipers full. Sound like there was some sleet mixed in that thing. That was crazy. But that daggum uh, armor all uh, car wash with the ceramic coating or whatever it puts on there <laughs> and it just nothing sticks to the car yeah that worked out good and it says that it does that and like yeah it actually does it actually does what it advertises yeah that's pretty well, i'll definitely novel. be using that plus now you know if it, it's quick cleans because it's got that ceramic coat it, it comes off easy but i'm impressed I'm super impressed yeah nice stuff yeah but that's fun today Got the second <laughs> ACS pump and in two days done. Actually, the cover's still off of that, that sales unit. I'll get that done tomorrow. I was trying to get it done tonight, but just ran out of time. But. Not enough hours. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the, the vlog and the ride. And on that, we're going to roll out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, see you on Friday morning. Yes. All right. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.